Hi guys, I am Isa, and today I'm going to be continuing our HTML tutorials. So we're going to be learning how to end those videos with Notepad. So on my channel, there's a tutorial on how to do this in VS Code. Now you can see what I'm doing. So we'll start with doc. We're going to start with doc type HTML. And then we're going to make a tag. We're just going to say how to insert video in HTML using Notepad. And then HTML the head and the body. Now we have these. I want to make a H1. I'm just going to say Opa Tech Video. I have the H1. So now, before we start making the video, we actually need a video file. So I have a video in my downloads, which I downloaded from my channel. You can just select it and press Ctrl C. Then go to where the code is and press Ctrl V to paste it. We have the video. We want to rename it to make it easier to, to write in the HTML. So we want to do vid.mp4. So now we want to do video why it doesn't run with video tag it's not going to do anything you have to put in a source of the video and the source is going to be the vid.mp4 just put it's going to show this so the user can't do anything with the video there's no more video so we need controls for the user to do something with the video. So we're going to add that by writing controls. And so now not all styling attributes have an equal sign to them. Was like, but most of them do have the equal sign. Like this controls one, it doesn't have like an equal sign. They have to put something in there. It's just there. So now we have these controls. We have, we have playback speed picture and picture full screen volume and the play button. You can use to play the video. And then we're going to do a width. So If you want to resize the video, you can just add in the words. We're going to do 400. So now it's reduced the whole video. Let me fix that. We can add a height. If I set the height to lower than the words. So it's going to do like that because it always changes the height of like, the video pointer. So if I set it to like more than the words. So we're going to change the heights of the video player. So now we're going to do the styling. First I'm just this height to like five hundred. Maybe it's 300. Now it's the styling. I'm going to the body had a background. I 
I do the style equals to the background. So I'm gonna do something a bit different here. Use linear gradient, which is like a mix between two colors. So you gotta put the parentheses when you're doing this. If I do like white, orange, comma, white, green, so you use that comma one or separating the colors. So I'll change its colors to these. So you can see that it's repeating. So to fix that, we can add background size cover and background repeat no repeat so you can see that it doesn't repeat It doesn't work is because well the background size extends to our HTML how many elements there are in our HTML like if an element is long the background are we going to extend up to that last element so we'll go back to our linear gradient. You can also add three colors to it. So I'm going to add like blue. I'm going to add blue. I'm going to do green. I'm going to add green. So now I'm going to do font size. The font size. And do 30 px. Increase our font size. I'm also just going to replace this green with orange. Turn to orange. So then I'm also going to make this over tech video sync bold, I mean underlined, using the U tag. If I reload it, it's going to be underlined so at least that's the end of today's tutorial if you've enjoyed don't leave a like and subscribe so bye